Hey guys, it's prediction time and review time of last weekend's predictions. This is Barley and I'm Dynesy 9085. Welcome to today's video. So, to start off with last weekend's predictions, as you can see, perfect scores wise, we only got a good old 0 out of 10. Can't get much more better than that. Barley having an itch. And uh, correct results, we got 5 out of 10, half of the results. So, it's all right, but uh, could be better anyway. So uh, moving on to the accumulator. As you can see, the accumulator wasn't that great. Four teams letting us down. So just one of those really shoddy uh, accumulators. And unfortunately, we couldn't make it two out of two. Um, obviously, you know, the weekend before we got our... Bye. We got our winning accumulator, but we couldn't do so the following weekend. So never mind. So, moving on to this weekend's fixtures, as you all will know, it is the FA Cup quarterfinals this weekend. Exciting times. And um, also, we do have some Premier League fixtures as well, so we could be predicting all the Premier League fixtures and the FA Cup ties too. So, starting off with the Premier League fixtures for this weekend. First off, the Saturday's games, we've got Bournemouth at home against Newcastle. We're going for a 2-1 victory for Bournemouth. Then we've got Burnley at home against Leicester. We're going for a one-all draw. And then the other game on Saturday, we've got West Ham at home to Huddersfield. We're going for a 3-0 victory for West Ham. Sunday's games, we've got Fulham at home against Liverpool. We're going for a 2-0 away win for Liverpool. And then we've got Everton at home against Chelsea. We're going for a 2 all draw. Goals, goals, goals. As for the FA Cup quarterfinals, Saturday's game, starting off with Watford at home against Palace. We're going for a 2-1 home win for Watford. Then we've got Swansea at home against Manchester City. We're going for a 4-1 away win for Manchester City. And then we've got Wolves at home against Manchester United. We're going for a 2-1 away win for Manchester United. And then on Sunday, the big game. Come on, boys. Brighton have got Millwall away from home. Still a tough fixture. Um... You know, we could have easily got Man United or Manchester City and obviously, you know, we probably wouldn't have much chance. But against Millwall, we definitely 100% have a chance of getting through to the semi-finals of the FA Cup and a nice trip to Wembley, which would be amazing if we could make that happen. So it's going to be a tough game anyway, because as we all know, Millwall have upset a couple of the Premier League teams along the way. So that this is not going to be any... Easy game whatsoever. But, however, I do believe that Brighton do have enough about them to put Millwall to one side. And especially with the latest two results, obviously Brighton getting that massive win against Huddersfield at home and then beating Palace. <laughs> yes! <laughs> beating Palace by two goals to one. That not cart goal was just a thing of beauty. Absolutely great goal. Loved it. So um, I'm going for a 2-1 away win for Brighton Hove Albion. Fingers crossed. Let's just see what happens. And now for something a little bit different. A little an announcement for you all. So uh, here's the announcement. So this is my announcement. I was specially selected to be the ambassador for that Peter Crouch podcast with the hashtag past the pod uh, for Worcester. So what does that get me? Well, that gets me this really luxury special t-shirt with this nice little badge as well to go with. As you can see, Barley's really thrilled about this, aren't you? Yeah, really thrilled. And uh, also that gets me, so thrilled she's gonna bugger off. Anyway. So that gets me this wonderful certificate that, as you can see here, shows that I, John Dine, am now the ambassador for Worcester with the podcast. So very exciting times. Got a nice little flyer as well and uh, a few other little bits and bobs. So anyway, so what's my job? What's my responsibility? I don't know. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Basically, it will just be to show you all just make you all aware that, you know, Peter Crouch has a podcast and it's really, really good. Uh, series one uh, has already been and it's out there now where you get your podcasts from. Uh, it was a fantastic listen just to get a great insight all into the life of a professional footballer, uh, inside of football and outside of football as well. And we all know Peter Crouch has been with one of those great personalities in football. Um, so as you all will know as well, 
he has released a, well, I say released, he is starting a second series for his podcast. So exciting times ahead for all you Peter Crouch fans um, of Peter Crouch and the podcast. Um, me, I am a big fan of his podcast, so it's really, really good listening. So I'm hoping that series two is going to be just as good as the last. No pressure, boys. So, yeah, so I just obviously would like to thank Chris and Tom and, of course, Peter for um, picking me as well as many others across uh, the country and the world, for that fact, for being the ambassador for Worcester. So let's do this proud and get as many people to listen to the podcast as much as possible. So anyway, so that is my announcement. Hope you all enjoy the video and uh, see you all soon. Cheers. Bye.